Ohio long term care facilities were among the first in the US to start vaccinating staff and residents for COVID-19 today. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco was in Georgetown as the first veterans received the shot. I'm here at the Ohio Veterans Home. It's one of 10 long term care facilities that began administering the COVID-19 vaccine today. Loved ones hope this is a step toward visitation. We were only permitted to watch through video chat as the first veteran in Ohio received the COVID-19 vaccine. I was hoping I was going to get to go outside and meet you people. John Miller is 94 years old. We got you. We can see you. World War II Army veteran Lieutenant Governor John Houston spoke to him about the historical vaccination moment from outside the Ohio Veterans Home to minimize the chance of the virus spreading. You're going to be on the top of the list. Great. I'll tell my kids. This facility needs it. Uh, these, these, these are our veterans. This is a long term care facility in a county that's red hot with the virus right now. Ohio is one of the first states to start administering the vaccine to long term care facilities Friday. Tracy Statham's mom, Judy Wollum, plans to get it. Mom wants the vaccine to buy back her freedom. She wants to be able to go out to eat again. She wants to be able to go places. But state leaders say the vaccine takes two doses. The second dose comes in 21 days. Even then, visitations won't be back to normal. So there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered and we have to get to that that level where you know we have a, a large percentage of the population that's been vaccinated before you know we can we can drop our guard back at the veterans home in georgetown signs say visitation is closed residents have not had visitors inside in nine months even outdoor visits are banned now because patients here do have COVID-19, according to the Veterans Services Assistant Director Sean McCarthy. It is heartbreaking to not be able to facilitate more visitation. He says 60 veterans here got the vaccine this round and 50 staff hoping to turn that around. All the people who received the vaccine today will get a second dose in 21 days. And if people who do not receive it today change their mind and decide they do want to get the vaccine, they can do so then. Reporting in Georgetown, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.